Um, function selection. So we've got a function selector built into VT SCADA. And I mean, I, honestly, I, I don't know whether I was away on site and missed, missed the coming out, but it's brilliant. I love it. It's really, really useful. So let me, uh, let me show you what's going on here. Um, so back to my, uh, back to my application. Uh, let's bring up that expression that I was using earlier. Uh, what was that? Did I save it? I'm not sure I even did. Uh, we'll jump into one of these. Bring up the properties. And when you're in the calculation and you decide that it's going to be an expression and you open the expression dialog, it's kind of buried away in here, but there's a little function with a right arrow. If I click that, one of the things is function selection. And this pops open this dialog. This gives you a list, and it's just a helper, um, but it's a list of really useful functions that you might use. So, I mean, we've got something as simple as add, add two numbers together. But what's kind of nice about it is when you select it, it gives you the parameters to add. So we can put expressions or tags or constant values in there. Um, and of course, you can nest this. It allows you to build up these expressions. So if you're not confident in writing script code, um, you, know, you can go into this, this function builder and uh, build, build functions up using it. For those of you who are a little more advanced, um, maybe some of you have done the scripting course, this is entirely extensible. So you can create your own functions and add them to that so that you've got reusable ones. So as an example of something that I've done recently, uh, I had, had two customers, in fact, both of whom had uh, very strange Modbus devices where the data was in a very unusual format. It had been uh, byte swapped multiple times, actually. Uh, so it was almost like a little Indian reversed upside down, standing on its head. And it, we needed to, to massage that data a little bit. And of course, it's fine being able to write that in script code, and most script programmers will be able to do that, no problem at all. But when you come to have to do the configuration of that, you don't necessarily want your uh, maintenance staff having to go in and deal with that. So you can create yourself a nice little function, add it to the function builder, and then it's all parameterized and done nicely for you. So it's really good. It's fully documented. It's all in our, all in our help files there, how to do that. And again, reach out if you, if you feel that uh, you'd like more information on how to do it.